Yes, yes my precious. precious. New, New lasers, lasers about. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are looking at the Slamtech RP LiDAR A2. Let's get started. Let's see, it comes in this nice little gift box. Something in here. Oh, micro USB to USB A cable. What's this? Oh, this must be the interface board. Okay, it's like this is where the cabling goes. Micro USB. This is for a five volt input, I believe. And that's a midgety low connector. This is the other side of the wiring. And here's the unit itself. It has four mounting points on it. And here's the connector and the wiring. Let's go plug it into our Jetson and see how it works. The cable goes towards the back. We use a two millimeter driver to secure it. Then we install the other three. You might want to use a little bit of thread locker on this if you are not going to be removing it frequently. Plug that into this connector. Then we plug that into the USB hub. Now we're ready to install the software. First, let's look on the USB bus to see if we can see the RP LiDAR. We'll use USB devices. The RP LiDAR is installed on a race car J, so there's quite a bit of stuff installed on here already. Scroll up. Here it is. The interface board is a serial to USB converter. We can see that it's a CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. This indicates that there is a driver, CP210X, associated with this USB device. You will need to have the CP210X module installed. Because we are running L4T28.2.1, the CP210X module is already installed. Earlier versions of L4T on the Jetson, such as L4T28.1, did not come with this module installed. In that case, you would have to build it yourself. There is also a version on the Jetson Hacks GitHub account. I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, we're ready to install. Let's clear this baby off. On the Slamtech account on GitHub, there is a repository named RP LiDAR SDK. This is the open source SDK for the Slamtech RP LiDAR. Let's clone that repository. We'll grab the address. Switch over to that repository's directory. Let's switch over to the SDK directory. Let's go look at the instructions. It says all we have to do is type make. Let's try that.
Okay, so we're done making. Let's look at our output. Let's switch over there. Release. Let's try her out. We will try the ultra simple. Oh, that's a good sign. Started spinning. And we're getting data out of it. That's a good sign. Oh, and it shut down. Let's run that again. That was fun. Okay, how did it start? So it starts off with a little bit of information. Ultra simple LiDAR data grabber. Version 1.9. Firmware version 1.2, probably need to update that. Health status, zero. I hope that's good. And then our scan data. Let's try Simple Grabber. Okay, so it needs to know the COM port. version 1.9, firmware version 1.2, hardware Rev 2, probably need to update the firmware. RP Lighter health status, okay. That's good. And there's some datas. Do you wanna see all the data? No, thank you. So that's installing the SDK. Let's install the ROS node for RP Lighter. I have ROS installed on this machine. It's over in the race car directory. We'll switch over there. Switch over to the source directory. On the Slamtech account on GitHub, there is a repository named RP LiDAR ROS. Let's clone that. We will source the devil just to be sure here. And let's capkin make. There is an RViz script that we can use. The launch file is located in the launch directory. So we'll say ROS launch. RP LiDAR and view RP LiDAR dot launch. Cross our fingers. And there it is. Let's put some color on this. This green right here is me. Here's the RP LiDAR. It's facing a wall. Over here's the camera. When I move out of the way, you can see the other end of the wall. Let's make this a little bigger. So this is me right here. When I move, you can see the rest of the room. This is what a shark looks like.
It looks like it works. Let's try it in a robotics application. And we'll start up our viz. Let's add in our RP LiDAR. It publishes here slash scan. And there it is. Okay, so now when we move the car, The car is on a pit stand, so it doesn't actually go anywhere, of course. But it gives you an idea of what happens when the car moves. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you'd like notifications of when the next exciting video is ready. Thanks for watching. Yes, yes my, my precious. precious. New, New lasers, lasers about. about.